Hello, everyone. Thank you, and welcome to tonight's online public scoping meeting. Um, tonight, you'll hear from members of our team about the environmental assessment that UDOT is completing to evaluate the existing half interchange at I-15 and 24th Street in Ogden, converting that into a full interchange. Um, we'll talk to you about what we'll be looking at through this environmental study process, as well as give you information on how you can provide input to help inform that process. So tonight we're going to have a presentation that will take roughly about 15 minutes, um, and then we will use the rest of the hour to answer any questions that all of you online attending have. We have a group of panelists from our study team um, online tonight. They are ready and able to answer any questions you have about this environmental study. I just want to also let everyone know that a recording of tonight's online meeting will be available on our study website tomorrow for anyone who may want to review it um, or share it with others who were unable to attend. Uh, we will be posting the presentation in both English and Spanish. Um, and when you do watch those videos, um, the captions will be available in Spanish as well as English. So like I said, we will have kind of that Q&A portion of the meeting. So I just want to explain to everyone how you can submit a question um, if you do have one. So this during the Q&A portion, um, on your screen, you should see a Q&A button at the bottom of your Zoom screen. Um, as we're going through this presentation, feel free to submit questions at any time using that button that our team will address when the presentation is complete. Um, just a couple things to keep in mind. When you do ask a question in that Q&A panel, everyone who is online will be able to see that question. When you submit a question, you will see a thumbs up next to that question. Um, if you have a question that's similar to one that someone has already submitted, you can just like that, that question um, to let us know that you also want to hear that response. Um, questions that have more likes will move to the top of the Q&A list. And when we do start that Q&A portion, we'll start with kind of the questions that, that most of you have, starting with the ones with the most likes. Um, just a couple of kind of notes as well. Um, we're not able to take verbal comments on tonight's meeting, so any questions that you do have will need to be submitted in that Q&A box. Um, we'll answer those live, like I mentioned. Um, and I'll provide you some more details later in the presentation, but we will be holding an in-person meeting tomorrow night. If you do feel like you wanna talk to members of our study team, or if you do have questions, you would prefer to ask verbally. Um, now I'm gonna turn it over to Santiago very quickly. Santiago, do you wanna jump in? Yes. Hola, soy Santiago y estaré disponible durante esta reunión para responder cualquier pregunta de los hispanohablantes que nos acompañarán esta noche. Para escribir su respuesta, escribir sus respuestas en español haciendo un clic en el botón de que dice preguntas y respuestas en la parte inferior de su pantalla Zoom. No vacile en enviar sus preguntas en español o en inglés para que nuestro grupo las responda durante la parte de preguntas y respuestas de la reunión. También hay una versión en español de la presentación de esta noche que, será esta, que estará disponible para descargar en el sitio web del estudio donde se registró para esta reunión. Gracias. Thanks, Santiago. Okay, like I said, we have a couple members of our team who'll be presenting for you tonight. Um, first, we have Brady Roberts, who is our UDOT project manager for this environmental assessment. We also have Naomi Keeson, who is the UDOT environmental program manager. So. With that, I will turn it over to Brady to, to kick us off. All right, hopefully everybody can hear me okay. So as mentioned before, UDOT is beginning an environmental study to evaluate converting the existing half interchange at I-15 and 24th Street here in Ogden into a full interchange. So we're basically just in the first phase of the study, which is called the scoping phase. And basically what that means is we're collecting information and data at this point. We'll be hosting two scoping public meetings. The first one's the one tonight, the virtual meeting, and we'll have an in-person meeting tomorrow night as well. So these meetings, they, they allow us to gather feedback about the overall transportation needs, uh, environmental issues that should be considered as we move through the process. And it also, also gives us a chance to provide members of the community with information about the study. So the input we receive from the public will help the team develop a design concept that will be available for comment later in the study process. Unfortunately, since we're just uh, beginning the environmental process, we don't have specific details in regards to the interchange design 
or impacts that we'll be able to share tonight, but we will have those details available in our next public meeting, which will be in the spring of 23. So this map here shows the study area for the environmental study. Uh, it's basically the area where improvements may be needed for the proposed interchange. This is the area where we will look at the environmental and community impacts for potential interchange designs. So as you can see here on the map, the study area actually extends southwest of the interchange because we'll also be uh, evaluating the realignment of Midland Drive. Uh, in past studies, it's been identified that if a full interchange is installed at 24th Street and I-15, that uh, it would require the realignment of Midland Drive. So I just wanna emphasize that the area that we're studying is not the actual area that will be impacted. Uh, this is just the area where where we'll be looking at environmental resources. We expect the actual footprint of the interchange and the Midland realignment to be much smaller than what's shown here. And like I said before, we'll have details about that, about what that design looks like uh, coming next spring. So as you can see on this map today, at I-15 and 24th Street, uh, we have a half interchange. So for northbound users, there's an off-ramp to 24th, as well as a, a southbound on-ramp to I-15 at 24th Street. Uh, so this is what we call a half interchange, meaning drivers cannot make the other movements at the interchange to get on northbound and to get off southbound. So our initial traffic analysis shows that this existing interchange will not support the traffic needs in the area of Ogden when we look at projection, future projections out to the year 2050. This is the initial analysis, or wait, this initial analysis shows that converting the 24th Street inter interchange into a full change will benefit drivers through the interchange as well as through adjacent interchanges at 31st Street as well as 21st Street. Uh, those interchanges would experience less delay and be able to handle more vehicles efficiently. So also as part of the study, we'll be looking at active transportation needs, uh, meaning non-vehicular movements uh, like bikes and peds and scooters. We wanna have connected communities and improve mobility for all users, not just cars. And this map here shows the planned active transportation facilities from Ogden City. Uh, this is our bicycle master plan, as well as the uh, Wasatch Front Regional Council transportation plan. And these show bike lanes planned on 24th Street, as well as uh, Midland Drive. So if you bike or walk in the, in the area, let us know what you think uh, could be done to improve the process or anything we should consider for active transportation, as well as if you don't walk or bike uh, in the area, what would make you wanna start um, is what we're looking at. All right, so now that you have some information on why we are initiating the study, let's talk a little bit about what we're gonna be studying. This slide shows some of the different resources that we will consider when evaluating potential impacts of the project. The goal of the study is to determine the best way to improve mobility on roads in the study area while limiting impacts to the community and the environment. If there are certain resources that are particularly important to you, whether they be the one on the slides or other ones, please submit a comment and let us know what they are and why they matter to you. On this slide, you'll see an overview of the environmental assessment process. During the scoping phase, which is where we are now, the team gathers information from many sources about the study area, its resources, and history, and we begin gathering and developing traffic data. All this information helps us to establish the need for the project and identify potential environmental issues and design conceptual solutions. This process helps us develop good alternatives to meet the transportation need. As part of the environmental process, we'll have two formal comment periods. We really encourage you to provide feedback during these comment periods. The first one is during the scoping phase, which is right now. 
The second one will be at the release of the environmental assessment, which we anticipate will be in about spring of 2023. It is important to keep in mind that the environmental study process is process driven and so the schedule could change as we learn more about the area. A little bit of guidance on how to ensure your comments provide value to the process. Please try to be clear and concise and focus your comments on the study area. Examples of things that are helpful to us to understand are how do you use the roads in this area? Do you live or work here? Do you walk, drive, or bike in the area? We want to know about your experiences using transportation in the study area. Also, as I previously mentioned, if there are specific environmental issues that you're concerned about, please let us know. Your feedback is really important to this process and helps to ensure that we develop a solution that is the right fit. Perfect. Thanks, Naomi and Brady. Um, I just wanted to touch on what Naomi just talked about. Um, as she mentioned, we are in that first formal comment period for this environmental study process. Um, so we've set up a variety of ways for you to provide that feedback to give us those formal comments. Um, we do welcome your input anytime during, during the study um, from now until till next spring when we're completed. Um, but if you do want to make a formal comment right now, that comment period began today um, and it will run until July 21st. So, and I just want to remind everyone that any comments that are submitted tonight on as part of the Q&A portion of this meeting are not considered formal comments. Um, so formal comments will be included in that final environmental document. So to make a formal comment, there's a few ways you can do that. Um, as I mentioned, we are having another meeting tomorrow night. It'll be the same information, but we will have hard copy comment forms you can submit a comment on um, tomorrow. That will be from 5.30 to 8 at Ogden Union Station. Um, you can also send us an email to 24th interchange at utah.gov or go onto the project website um, where I'm sure you all have registered for this meeting on. Um, we do have a comment form on there. You can submit a comment. Uh, you can also mail us, uh, mail us a formal comment if you would like to the address on that screen right there. So, and if you are unsure of how to comment or you do have questions about how to comment, um, I will show a a phone number a little bit later in the presentation. Um, we kind of are wrapping up. You can give us a call at any time and we're, we're happy to assist you with that.